Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you a little bit more about the Puzzle Maker. Uh, this is going to be a quick one. I just wanted to show you real quick here how to make a walking robot. Uh, so there's some special things about the physics creator that I wanted to make clear. Uh, first of all, uh, the way you can put things together, put shapes and things together, uh, and bolt them together or hook them together with pins and springs and things like that. So what I want to do is just basically draw uh, one of the prefabs uh, and maybe if we have some time I'll, I'll modify it a little bit. But I want to draw just a very basic walking robot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a very simple body, just a circle, and I'm going to put two legs on him. Uh, simply just straight up and down uh, rectangles and I'm going to shift and click and copy this so they're the same. So I've got two legs here and uh, a body. And now uh, the next step would be to hook them together. So it's real simple. You just go over here to the uh, panel on the side and click Physics. And uh, you'll see on this, on this side panel here all of these different kinds of uh, joints and springs that you can choose from um, for putting things together to make them move around. So in this case, I want to create something that's a hard joint. Uh, no flex in it, really. I just want it to be very uh, uh, stable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pin joint. And I'm just going to drag a pin joint onto this body here, and I'm going to. And you can see on one end is a a base, and the other end is a hand, sort of denoting that you can link things together. Um, now, if I just leave the hand like this and click Test, uh, since it's since it's a uh, floating in midair, it's going to automatically attach to the background. I don't know if you can see that. Let's go ahead and change our background and make it a little brighter so everybody can see. And I'm going to click test and there you go. You see that it's attached to the background and that's how you you can create any shape and you can simply attach it to the background just by dragging the hand onto the background. Now if you drag the hand onto an object, it'll light up and now these two objects are linked together. So you can see that I just tested that and they're linked together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the point where the link occurs by dragging on the object. And then it's hard to tell, but you can actually drag the other end of the joint and you can change where the two ends, actually both ends, can be linked together. Uh, and then the final step, a very special thing that I've added, is that when you drag the two ends very close together, they become a bolt. And if you drag your mouse over here, it says, these objects are bolted together. So uh, the slight difference here being that uh, when you have a bolt, uh, when when these two things overlap, they don't collide with each other, and they act as one with sort of a, a pin joint here. Uh, not necessarily a pin, but like a thumbtack kind of joint where they're stuck together like that. So um, let's do another one. Let's do the other leg. And hopefully I can get it about the same as the other one. And there's our two legs. Now if we test this, he stands up perfectly, um, but he doesn't move around. So uh, I think the next step would be actually make him movable. So what we're going to do here is uh, we could do a motor, and that's in the physics panel. And what that'll do is that'll turn the uh, body around. We'll test that again. And uh, he kind of falls over. He doesn't look, too, look like he's doing a very good job. So what we're going to do here... Uh, since we don't want these legs, to, we want these legs to actually support the body, what we're going to do is, I'm going to select both legs by holding on shift, and then I'm going to, under the motion here, constrain the motion to slide only. Object moves, but does not rotate as, it, as if it were sliding. So, now these two legs won't rotate, but they will move. So there you go. Now you have a walking robot. It basically is moving those legs and they can't rotate so it's nice and constrained in a simple motion. Now the motor joint has controls in it. You can drag this little slider here and you can make the, the motion stronger by making the arrow longer. You see he's walking so fast now that he's hopping up in the air. When his leg hits the floor it pushes down which pushes him, pushes him upward. Uh, you can also control this way. You can actually make him walk the other way. So, that's a simple walking robot. And if you want to be able to control him yourself, we'll remove the motor joint and we'll go to the controls panel. And instead of the motor, 
we'll choose rotator. And if you've mouse over, it says rotate, so not just using the keyboard. Left and right arrow keys or A and D keys. And it's, you can see that it looks exactly the same as the motor, except it's blue. I tried to make all of the controls blue so they're easy to spot. Now if I'm pressed with the keyboard, and I don't know if that's showing up on your screen. He, has, he walks around in response to keyboard movement. Now I want to move him around a little bit. I'm going to move him up a little bit. And then I, in order to be able to easily select the entire robot, I'm going to use the window select. And over here I can choose uh, group. And that's, that's basically all that does is allow me to select things just by one click. Uh, and I can actually simply move things around without actually pulling them apart, which is very inconvenient if you've made something complicated. You don't want to accidentally pull it apart. You can still select individual objects by picking on the handle of the object once, and it'll focus on there. Uh, but the reason I want to do this is because I'm going to add, uh, I want to make him walk but not slide around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another floor here, and I'm going to change the material of, material of the floor to tire material, which is very high friction material, just like a real tire. And I'm going to also uh, make his feet also the tire material. And I'm going to test. Now when I walk, see his legs pretty much stay put when they put their foot down. And he walks a lot more, uh, a lot more smoothly without actually sliding, sliding around. So very simple robot. And we can add new things to it. Uh, we can add adders uh, to make him projectiles. We can add all kinds of things to him. We can change his look and feel. Notice how the legs are black here and the floor is black, uh, but I originally created those as wood, so uh, when you look at it in the paint mode, it just takes the uh, original material and sort of puts some default on there. But you can always change all this stuff. Uh, you can change all the paint colors uh, of everything without actually, without actually changing the material. They're basically separate, even though it starts out with the same color as the material. So here I'm going to uh, make him a glowing robot, and I'm going to test and now he has no he has no lines on the shapes, but he has this glow to him. So he kind of looks like he's one piece. It's kind of a neat effect there. Um, but that's my walking robot. One last thing I want to show you is uh, real quick here. I'm going to ungroup this guy. Now that I've got this robot, I'm going to make him. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to make him automatically walk. And. Uh, do a quick test here. There he is walking. Okay, now I'm going to regroup him so I can show you this. One other uh, neat uh, widget, I don't know if anybody's had a chance to play with much, is the factory. The same thing as a spawner, except you can use that on multiple objects. So since I've grouped this guy, I can just plop a factory on there. And uh, if I click on there, it'll, t it'll have all the same settings as the spawner. Uh, I'm going to increase this time a little bit here, and I'm going to make it so he spawns every three seconds instead of one. And I'm gonna make it so he only lasts maybe five seconds. So uh, this makes a game where I have a little factory here basically that creates new robots. I have, a, And you can see I'm sure how this could become a game really quickly uh, where you have enemies being spawned and you can shoot them. Uh, I think that that would be uh, pretty cool. I'm sure uh, we'll start seeing that soon on the site. Anyway, thank you for uh, watching. We'll have more soon.